Hello, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a tutorial on how to use DJ Pro 2 or DJ Pro. I think they seem sort of the same, the, uh, the layout of them. Anyway, so first thing what you've got to do is go to Google or whatever search term you've got. Um, you go on to DJ, DA, DJAY space P R O search. So you got the software. Um, I'm doing it on Mac. So you can either go on here or you can go on to the um, apps. So this is the way to get onto the online version. But I got mine from the apps. So if we go to the apps to see how to go to the app, get on the apps, it's pretty basic, like uh, just to find it on the apps. Um, you just basically go to search and type in DJ, DJ space pro. Yes. Search. Okay, so there it is, DJ Pro 2. And uh, I've already downloaded it, so it doesn't say the price right now, but it's about £32, I think, something like that. So, anyway, you download it, um, you install it, it all works pretty well. Uh, pretty easily I mean um, so then you've got the DJ Pro app that looks like this I've got DJ Pro 2 um, so and it's integrated with Spotify and iTunes library so whatever you download that gets stored onto your iTunes you can play it on DJ Pro 2 so say let's go on to best of stamina this is uh, some freeform UK hardcore music so you just click on your music, drag it. Oh, wait there. I'll show you how to get the music up first. What you do is you install the DJ Pro 2. You open it, go up the top here and go to library and go to refresh library. And that'll put all the tracks that are on your computer onto it. So anyway, yeah, you, you get the track, you drag it drop it on make sure it's a track that will go as well because you don't want to put a track on like like a pop track with like a drum and bass track usually they don't go if you're lucky they might do but it depends on the beat um anyway so you drag a tune onto one deck you drag another tune onto another deck so that's how you load the tracks up you can either drop it on the deck or you can drop it on this where the line is there where the name of the track is. So, uh, you can change it. It might be on like one deck when you, it might be like this. It might be like this when you first get it. But if you wanna do mixing like I do, I put it on, I click on this one here, double deck. Um, then there's, how do you change the two vinyl looking one? Yeah, anyway, yeah, anyway, I'll do, I'll show that another time. Um, so, you drag your tunes onto the deck, and then you've got these lines here. They're not always perfectly lined up, the lines, to one another, one track to another track. But what you do is you pull it to the start line. It's usually yellow, sometimes it's not. Like this one hasn't got a start line, but that's the start, clearly that's the start of the beat because it's fat and chunky and it's like, it's free from hardcore so you can tell that that's the start. Anyway, so you put the line on the red line or the start of the beat on the red line and then you go down here and you click set. You go down to the other one, set. Okay, so you play one of the tunes um, so say, how can I do this to show you? Let's take a bit of the bass off a bit. Right, that's the bass anyway. That's the bass. That's the treble. That's the high. That's the gain. The gain is like an overall turn up of the Daddy. the overall turn up of the Daddy, music. Yeah. This is the bass right here down. That's it. That's the bass. This one's the bass. Anyway, the gain is like an overall turn up of all these together, the bass, the mid and the top. Okay, so 
we've lined it up on the red line, the start of the beat, and it goes in a beats of four. So you count to four to the beat when you drop the track in, but we'll get into that in a moment. So, play the track. So you can hear that, that music is going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So wait there, let me turn this down a bit so you can hear me while I'm doing this. How loud is that? We'll try that. If it doesn't work, I'll remake the video. This is the first tutorial I've ever made ever. So, right, press play on that. Yeah, that's the bass. So you go back to it. So you played your first track. I'm playing the right, right hand deck first. And then on the left, um, you've got the other deck and the other play and all that and the set and the cue. Right, this, and before I go into dropping the next tune in is the cue. So the cue restarts the tune. You see? So even if, it, if you pause it, it'll restart the tune and stop. If you press Q while it's playing, wait, it'll go wait, back wait, to the start wait, and carry wait, on playing. Wait, wait, wait. What? This is... What, Edward? This is the bass down here. That's the bass, yeah. The bass. That's on, the bass. On shot bass. Right, come on then. Let's do this. Anyway, anywho, right, so you play your first tune, and you count to four to the track. When I first learned how to play the decks, which was vinyl, I got told to tap my foot to the beat and count to four. So, try and tap your foot to the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. With the foot tap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you have to sync it if you're doing it freehand with the cursor as well. So sync, that sync now, there's sync, sync. That makes it in time with the other track. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you drop it in at the one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And then it's not exactly in beat, so you've got to do the minus to align the lines. So now that's in beat, because I did the minus, you've got the plus, the minus, the plus, the minus, same on this one, you can pick whichever one you want to, um, any one you want to, to line them up, just as long as they get lined up, okay, so we've got the cross reader, just to juggle it a bit, just to check some beat, that one's in beat, that one's in beat, and this one's in beat. This one's in B, and that one's in B. That one's in B, and this one's in B. And this one's in B, and that one's in B. That one's in B, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So that's my little quick tutorial part how to mix the music. Alright, then let me switch this little toy off because it's not going to help the tutorial. Okay, so. Then. We've got these square bits here. You click on this, and if you notice, these are popping up, and these are samples, sound effects. So you go to the, the grid here, you click that, and they'll pop up. So you've got stuff like this. This. Wait, wait, let me turn it down. It's a bit loud. It's a bit loud. These are the effects that you get. Okay, and then you can click on here, sound FX, and you can get different packs. So I think I've got sound FX on at the moment. Essentials. Essentials sounds like this. So if you've got a controller with some beat pads, you can make your own little beat. DJ. So when you get the app, you can just uh, explore with that, now that you know what that is. Okay, so then you can click on here, and you can get um, Spotify music. But the only thing with this is, the only thing with this is, um, you can't record it. 
and the record is here. Here is how to record. Um, I've never been able to get the mic to work properly. There's always feedback. Um, if you want to use headphones while you mix in with a cursor or a pointer or whatever you want to call it, uh, you have to get this. Uh, I'll show you now, wait there. Right, so DJ Pro. Let me see if I can find where it. Wait, a check for updates. Oh, that's how you check for updates. Anyway, you go to the top there, DJ Pro, check for updates. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Okay. Right. So I completely forgot what I was looking for. Anyway, that's where you record. So you can record, you can go like this, you can either record audio or video. Audio obviously is just the sound of the music when you're on your own library. Um, so you can record audio. If you click video to record and then you click, go to the top right here, click on the little screen, click on that and you've got this all of this so um let's play a track quickly uh this is what will come up so you've got that you can change the effects of it you've got q you've got halos levels Articles, etc, 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 let's turn this down a bit, and then you've got, you can add pictures, okay, so you just click plus, click plus, right there, right, and then you go to scroll down, go to photos, click add, and pick your picture. So that's how you put a picture on. You can go to this one here and you can put the writing on. So and then when you go on these you have to click on the middle one. Say I'll put this to stay picture on. Stay. Click on the middle the screen in the middle of it. So minimize that. You want some writing on there? DJ Pro. Click the middle screen. This down here is um, where you can put it in what part of the screen, like middle of the top, top left, top right, bang in the middle, middle left, bottom left, etc, etc. And the same goes with this. It's got the same set out as where you want to put it. And then you've got the scale, how big you want it. It's the scale, the wicked band, I like the scale. Right, opt to see, you can make it like a little bit invisible so they can, you can see through the picture to see the effects or whatever you want to make it invisible for. Um, and the same goes for this side. Okay, so you can go here as well then, get video clips. Wait there, let's move this to steer picture off. Um, there, that's off now. Um, you can go down to this one here where you've got videos already there for you. So you can pick one of these videos. I like, I like, which one do I like? Um, I like this one. It's like California sort of dancing in the sun. That's pretty cool. Uh, you've got a snowboard one. Snowboard and etc, etc. It's got all, all these. And you can also upload your own videos. Um, you can even do mixing with music videos. So say I want to say I want to mix with this video, which is "Drop the World" by Little Wayne and Eminem. You can do that, and then basically do DJ mixing with the video. Um, none of the songs that I got go with each other video-wise. But I'll just show you quickly sort of thing. Uh, it's a bit more tricky to get it in beat when you're watching the video. You're better off going to the start and looking at the beat again, like I said in the start of the video. 
um, get the beat aligned with the other beat and um, sync it. So I got my chemical romance and drop the world. So it fades out like that, which is cool. Like fades together. Very awesome thing that that does. Um, the cue points, I'm not very clued up about the cue points. I know how to cue with my mixer and do like an auto loop. I do that quite often when I'm doing a live stream. Okay, um, so let's go back to the two. Um, what else can I show you? Let's go back to music. Can I show you anything else? What's this? Oh, that's that cue thing. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, that's about it. Um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope it's helpful. I'm not like perfect at doing this, so um, hopefully I get some views and I help people with this. Uh, yeah, hope you subscribe. If you can subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. If you could leave a comment, if you could uh, like the video, share the video, etc. And um, yeah, thanks. Peace.